Hi everyone and welcome back to my place and more beautiful designs inspired after our great botanical adventure journey behind the scenes at Mangrove Creek in Kattegat. Now for those of you who don't know where Kattegat is, get a look at the map of the world and come down to the bottom of the world to a dot that's called New Zealand. Oh, it's a beautiful place. Well, where the farm is, it's in the Bay of Plenty, which is a major horticultural growing area in New Zealand. Heard of kiwi fruit? That's where they come from. Amazing place. But look at these. These I got to see growing. And oh, honestly, if you haven't seen the story that goes with the second leg of the Great Botanical Journey, go and have a look. Watching these growing was a treat. And what I've always had issues with is, how could something this big come in the spring and then you look at something like this, the Paris, that comes in the spring and you think, whoa, how could that be? Now there's a whole heap of information on the King White Protea and a little bit of a secret that I didn't know was, this is actually called Asiatic Ice and this was propagated. Is it propagated? I want to say invented, but it was propagated and patented to ownership here with the grower in New Zealand. I think that is so special. And what I also love is that from our little place, right at the bottom of the world, we send flowers to a market near you. I just absolutely love that. But anyway, stop talking, Aster, and get on with it. But aren't these just gorgeous? Oh my Lord. And I want to tell, oh, there is one more thing that I want to tell you. Now, if you're growing them and you're picking them or you are buying them, if you see something like that, see this little tight, tight, tight cone because that's what they look like on the tree, don't buy it. And I'll tell you why. Because if it's like this, the grower told me this, if it's like that, it's never going to open. Never, 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 never. And when they do pick them, there's usually two or three of these little brats. They're called brats, these bits. And the actual flower is in the inside. And these are its protective coat. And you need it in the winter because there's winter over all through the cold. And then the sun gets to the right temperature and the light's at the right time and they just burst forth. So if it's like that, don't buy it. Make sure it's got just a few of these peeling back before you and in, invest okay now oh, that's so beautiful now the reason it's called a king protea is is because this is like a crown see this here and these in here they're the petals those bits there these here are just the brats and they like its crown and they just set the stage so that when it opens and it will continue to open these here will just all sort of just open up and they'll be absolutely delicious these are loved by the birds and the birds many many years ago helped to fertilize and pollinate other things. The other great thing about these is they're strong. Do you know that these can withstand bushfires? The other thing that's really interesting is we all know from the first botanical journey and behind the scenes of the Cymbidium orchids that they predate the dinosaurs. Well let me tell you, so does this. Oh, and they're finding evidence all just keeps coming up. All this interesting information about these. Oh, I just love them. Right, stop it. Get on with it. I've told I've talked enough. Now, often people say to me, yeah, but as to how do you design with these big things? Can't you can't do, you've got to have a big container. Well, no, you don't. And I'm about to share how easy it is to get a gather gatherings of spring and put them into a beautiful little container like this that will last for weeks and weeks and weeks because these will last for months and then as the season progresses and they sort of like lose their 
moisture, you can dry them off. So I'm going to keep these and come back to them in due course. Right, the other thing I want to put with these is I've got a little bit of tea tree or manica. I've got some flannel flowers. I've got some gum nuts. I've got one little piece of, of eucalyptus. I was going to go and get more, but it's been wet the last couple of days, so I couldn't be bothered. And I'm going to show you, share how you can put that big bloom with that beautiful puris and because I love Pittosporum I'm on a quest to bring it back and it is the perfect foliage it's got a it's got a bit of form here it's quite big that little bit there but those colorings those colorways all go and will be beautiful in this design now I'm just going to strip that foliage off there because we want no foliage into here also I've put a little bit of bleach into the water and that is just to keep everything all all nice and clean so that the bacteria is kept at bay I love that keep the bacteria at bay okay we'll start off with little bit of gum. Let's go in there with the big flower first. Now everything's going to be like a, a loose and formal handheld. So I'm just going to bring that down into my hand like so. Oh and there's something else I wanted to share with you. Right see these little bits here. This is what I just absolutely love. Watch this. Watch this. And that's what happens when they're all across like that. You wait until, I love it, and it's almost like a stack of cards falling down. It's just beautiful dominoes as they all just like poke open. And another wee thing I forgot to share is, if these don't open, I have heard that if you hit it with fly spray, Yes, fly spray. It will open within hours. I think that's fabulous. Flower might not be as pristine perfect as if you leave it, but if you're in a rush and you need them to be open, fly spray. Yeah, yeah. Heard all sorts of things when I was down at Mangrove Creek Farm. Okay, now the next to go in are going to be these here. So I'm going to bring a couple of those into there. That can go into there. And I'm going to bring those over to there. And I'm sort of just kind of crisscrossing all of that foliage there. All needs to be off because that's just going to muddy up the water and cause a little bit of bacteria. And we don't want that. Oh, there's one more bit. I want that bit. So I'm going to just bring that bit there and into there. So what I'm doing is I'm just sort of like using that as my base and then just bringing all the others in around it. Now I love this stuff here, so I'm just going to bring a bit of that into there. You can either use fresh or artificial. Unfortunately, it's just not the right time of the year for me. So just bring that over to there and that can just go over and into there. That's a little bit too high, but don't worry about that, we'll fix that in due course. Right, the next to go into here is some gum nuts. So I'm just going to bring the gum nut into there. And I love that colorway of the gum nuts and the, the round shininess of the green. And then that, well, it's got a little bit of that dusty stuff that they get. And then that sort of just like brings us into there. So I'm using this big, big, heavy thing and just diffusing it by bringing in those lovely gum nut pods. That can go over into there like so. Now I'm just going to cut those bits there, or everything slant cut. Right, the next to go in is going to be, whoopsie daisy, what's happening here? A little bit of the foliage. It's not often that you, usually we go from the outside in, but when you're using something big it's best to go from the inside out, i.e. that focal goes in. Now I'm going to bring that down and into there. Oh, look at that and that into there. Look at the colorway. Isn't that just so gorgeous? And then I'm just going to bring that bit up and over to there like so. And then with the Paris, the Paris can just sit in there like so. Is everything about the same length? Let me just cut those extra bits off because they're just not quite right. And then this is when you have to go, oh please make it go in and sit perfectly. And it does. Look at that. Loose and informal using big forms and little forms and the transition 
from the inside outwards to create a beautiful picture. See, you can use big with small and combine the, fa the flowers to create a beautiful visual picture. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing it with you. I must also just thank uh, Vania and Daryl at Mangrove Creek for allowing us behind the scenes to see how our flowers are grown and also to New Zealand Bloom, because guess what? From here in New Zealand, they are shipped to a market near you. I love that we can play with the same things at the same time. See you again another day.